Hi, continuing my series on learning about animals, thus learning respect for other species, I am going to be talking about dinosaurs today. Unga bunga! Roar. No, that's not a woolly mammoth, sorry. <laughs> so, first, I'm going to talk about the T Rex and the woolly mammoth. Um, first of all, we'll cover the T-Rex. The T-Rex is Greek for tyrant lizard. Yes, tyrant lizard. Um, from Western North America, they believe, or they found remains. Um, they walked on, obviously, two legs. Um, and then had little, short little arms, as we all know. Um, their tails were pretty long. They actually had um, up to 40 vertebrae. They were about 42 feet long, 13 feet high at the hip, and uh, they think they weighed about 7 tons. I believe a ton is 2,000 pounds, so close to 15,000 pounds. Um, their teeth alone were about one foot from the root. Some of the biggest teeth ever found. Um, unless if you're talking about elephant tusks, but that's not really a tooth. Um, they were from the Creaceous period, C-R-E-T-A-C-E-O-U-S period, which is about 66 million years ago. This is versus the Jurassic period of 150 million years ago. So you have almost a 100, me 100 million year gap there. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but the Creaceous versus the Jurassic period. Um, they estimated that they could run between 11 and 12, 25 miles per hour on their hind legs. Um, they are unsure if they were predators or scavengers. They might have just scavenged remains of animals. Um, they actually have 85% of a natural fossil at the Natural History Museum of Chicago. And their head or skull was about 5 feet long. So those are some of the facts in the T-Rex, um, as far as we know and can theorize. Now let's talk about the woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth was, was uh, around about 10,000 years ago. Um, they're closely related to elephants, which are actually endangered due to human humans. Um, they are endangered, human overpopulation, um, and are, are ways... Um, they had thick brown hair though, um, sometimes as long as three feet long because they were in colder climates like the Arctic Plains and Siberia. Um, their tusks were used to fight, dig snow so they could get access to food or greens. Um, they were herbivores. They ate only a plant-based diet, vegan, herbivores, <laughs> um, as you can see from my shirt. Cavemen still eat and wear animals. Yes, cavemen still wear animal skins or fur for trim coat hoods, Uggs, sheep skins, uh, wool from sheep, which it can be very cruel to look it up. Not the woolly mammoth wool, but... <laughs> um, so they were herbivores, like the elephant, huge ones. Um, they had um, some remains in Siberia that were well-preserved because it's so cold that they could actually um, do DNA tests um, and they found two um, babies that had died in 2007 and they actually could do an autopsy on the remains and determined that they lived about 40,000 years ago and they actually died from mud in their esophagus and they couldn't cough it up because it was wet mud. Um, so they actually could determine how they died. This is pretty scientific. Um, the woolly mammoth was at least 13 feet tall. I thought they were pretty taller than that, but a couple sources said around that range. Six ton in weight. And um, one of the 50-year-olds they actually found, they actually considered trying to do DNA revival um, from that and trying to create new ones um, with modern science. Um, which has some debates and uh, possibilities, but um, basically to bring them back from extinction. extinction. Um, so let's preserve what we have, though, as far as elephants, because they are endangered from poachers, 
and from human deforestation, human overpopulation, and they're treated poorly in circuses, with bull hooks and living in confinement. Um, and we need to protect what we have, these great majestic herbivores, like the woolly mammoth, elephants, and the T-Rex. I hope you enjoyed. My sources were National Ge Geographic, Science Kids, and Live Science. Thank you, and please learn more about animals, and no cavemen were not around during the Jurassic period. But we have no need to eat and wear animals like cavemen. Unga bunga. <laughs> Thank you, and support animal rights to simply be left alone. Look up a factory farm video, meatvideo.com by Mercy for Animals. It's life-changing and eye-opening. And look up a fur farm video of rabbits, dogs, raccoons, baby white seals, and many other species that are tortured in fur farms or fur traps used for fur and fur trim coat hoods, ugly ug sheepskins, and down feather filling coats. Thank you, and please share and look up a factory farm and a fur farm video. Thank you.